All right, um, day three is synthetic division. Um, it's the same process and idea as long division. It just usually is brought up in a simpler way. The one big thing with synthetic division that you need to take note of is you can only use synthetic division if the leading coefficient of your divisor is one. Um, you can also only use it for terms like x plus 10. So if it's x squared or anything longer than that, um, you can't use synthetic division. So you can't use it if your leading coefficient is something other than one, and you also couldn't use it for problems like x squared plus 2x minus 1. So your divisor has to be something simple like x plus 10 or x minus 3. Again, in your directions, I'll say whether you're supposed to use synthetic division or long division. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this started. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of forget about every single variable and just use my numbers. Synthetic division, the reason I don't like it as much is because you can't see what's happening. So this is how you set it up. You do a little box in the corner and then a line underneath. What I'm going to do outside of that box in the corner, I'm going to use the coefficient of every term. Now inside the box is where my divisor goes. Since this is a positive one half, I'm going to put a negative one half in this box. So again, divisor, the constant of the divisor, I change the sign and put that inside the little box. The coefficient of each number goes outside the box. What we're going to do is I'm going to bring down this 4 below this line. Anything, anything below this line is going to get multiplied by the divisor. So negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2. From here, I'm going to add those together. Negative 2 minus 12 is negative 14. So again, I'm going to take negative 1 half and multiply it to negative 14. So negative 1 half divide, or times negative 14 is positive 7. So then 9 plus 7 is 16. So this is my remainder. The last term is always your remainder. And then this is your constant, and this is just x. So your answer is 4x minus 14. And just like in long division, I'm going to do my remainder over the divisor. So that is your final answer. Again, with synthetic division, it's simpler because there's no variables. But if you just looked at this, you have no idea that this is a division problem. So my second example, x to the fourth minus 2x to the third plus 3x plus 1. Just like we talked about with long division, um, I'm missing an x squared here. So I need to write that I don't have any of them. You always need that placeholder. So again, I'm going to set up the little box in the corner and the long line underneath. My coefficients are 1, negative 2, 0, 3, and 1. And underneath that 1 is going to be where my remainder goes. My divisor is x minus 3, so I'm going to take that negative 3 and change it to a positive. I always bring my first term down. And then below this line, I multiply my divisor to it. So 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So again, 3 times 1 is 3. 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So 3 plus 9 is 12. And lastly, 3 times 12 is 36. So my remainder is 37. So again, I have my remainder, my constant, and then this is x, x squared, and x to the third. So I'm always just going to count backwards that way um, to get what each of these terms are. So my final answer is 1x to the third plus 1x squared plus 3x plus 12 plus 37 all over x minus 3. So again, it's easier because we take all the variables and exponents out, but then you have to remember to put them all back in at the very end. So that is synthetic division. So here's your try on your own. 6x squared minus 5x minus 6. 
and your advisor is x plus 3. Good luck!